Welcome back to the Human Meme Podcast. I am AI David Bowles. Today's topic, the danger of urbanization. Many years ago, when I was teaching a cultural literature class at Rutgers University in Newark, New Jersey, the conversation with my class concerning the history of discrimination against minority communities across the last thousand years became intensely focused as one black student raised his hand and said, Urban renewal means Negro removal. Aha! That simple statement led to a whole new, updated, immediate conversation that lasted the rest of the semester. So, the greater challenge to that idea is what happens to founding communities? who are then forced out of their lifetime neighborhoods so cities can build skyscrapers that block the sun and create stark disparities between the new wealthy and the old impoverished? And also, what happens to those founding communities that decide to stay and not leave their lifelong neighborhoods? For those who are forced out, displacement often results in a loss of a cohesive sense of self which is often deeply intertwined with a sense of place. One's individual and collective identity is not merely an internal construct, but is deeply tethered to the geography, history, and communal fabric of a locality. When long-standing communities are forced to relocate due to development, it can severely damage the sense of belonging, connection, and identity people feel towards their community. This loss of social capital and support networks can lead to isolation, anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues. Leaving behind established social networks causes significant stress and sometimes leads to a breakdown of community structures. Older individuals may find it particularly hard to adapt to new environments, leading to isolation and mental health issues. People lose control over their living situation when forced out by urbanization. This loss of agency and inability to determine one's own future is psychologically damaging and can manifest in anger, helplessness, and apathy. Different generations adapt differently to forced migrations, leading to intergenerational tensions. Younger members might adapt more readily to the new environment leading to an erosion of traditional values and practices. People who are forced out of their homes and communities often experience grief and mourning, similar to what they would feel after the death of a loved one. They may grieve for the loss of their home, their neighborhood, their friends, and their way of life. A move frequently involves not just changing houses, but also potentially losing livelihoods. Forced relocation severs people's bond with places that are meaningful and filled with memories. This place attachment is important for psychological well-being and identity, so its loss can be destabilizing. For those who stay, the erection of skyscrapers can overshadow the existing community, leading to feelings of being small or less important in the grand scheme of things. This can have a detrimental effect on one's self-esteem and create a sense of insignificance. Residents whose views become obstructed by towering new developments may experience depressive symptoms due to loss of natural light and connection to the sky. Urbanization often leads to a significant rise in the cost of living. Those who stay might find it increasingly difficult to afford basic amenities adding financial stress to psychological strain. As rising urban density replaces open spaces with buildings, remaining residents lose places to gather, socialize and bond with neighbors, negatively impacting social networks. New developments can segregate the original inhabitants from newer, often more affluent, residents. This can result in social fragmentation and an exacerbation of class and sometimes racial divisions. Rapid neighborhood changes from urbanization can make the area feel unfamiliar, threatening residents' sense of belonging and connection to the place. 
The juxtaposition of the new towering structures with the old, smaller houses can create a form of environmental incongruence that impacts the psyche. This cognitive dissonance can make it hard for residents to reconcile their identity with the changing landscape. Urbanization often leads to a loss of green space. This can have a negative impact on people's mental and physical health. Studies have shown that spending time in nature can reduce stress, improve mood, and boost cognitive function. Urbanization can also lead to increased noise pollution and congestion. This can be a nuisance for people who live in urban areas, and it can also have a negative impact on their mental and physical health. The past century offers numerous instances wherein founding communities have been adversely affected by processes of urbanization. The Raising of Pruitt Ego St. Louis, USA, 1954-1976 Pruitt Ego was an infamous public housing project in St. Louis, Missouri, aimed at providing affordable housing, Initially seen as an ambitious urban renewal project, it gradually devolved into a symbol of the detrimental effects of misguided urbanization. Poor design, racial segregation, and inadequate maintenance led to crime, social disintegration, and economic instability. Eventually, the community's collapse led to the raising of the Pruitt Ego buildings, displacing thousands and leaving a lasting psychological scar on the inhabitants. There, urbanization aimed at improving the lives of economically disadvantaged citizens ironically resulted in social decay. The severance of social networks, escalation in crime rates, and rampant poverty led to a traumatic upheaval for the existing community, marking an example of how urbanization can counterproductively disenfranchise a founding populace. Chinatowns in the United States Rapid urbanization and development often targeted Chinatowns in cities like San Francisco and New York in the early mid-20th century, demolishing homes and businesses. This destroyed community hubs and social bonds. For example, in San Francisco, Chinatown lost a third of its housing stock to the city's redevelopment agency in the 1950s to 60s. Residents experienced displacement, isolation, and loss of community identity. As well, was New York City is one of the most iconic and diverse cities in the world. However, its rapid urbanization has had a significant impact on its founding community. One example is the displacement of the Lower East Side Jewish community. In the early 20th century, the Lower East Side was one of the densest Jewish ghettos in the world. However, in the 1950s and 1960s, the city government began to redevelop the area, demolishing many of the old buildings and displacing the residents. Today, the Lower East Side is a very different place with few remnants of its Jewish heritage. Another example is the displacement of the black community in Harlem. In the early 20th century, Harlem was a thriving black community known as the Black Mecca. However, in the mid-20th century, the city government began to neglect and disinvest in Harlem. This led to a decline in the area's economy and infrastructure and many black residents were forced to move out. Today, Harlem is still a predominantly black community, but it has lost much of its former vibrancy and prosperity. Internationally, Hutong destruction in Beijing, China, 1990s, present. The ancient Hutongs in Beijing have been the backbone of Chinese urban culture for centuries. However, the rapid urbanization drive since the 1990s led to the demolition of these traditional alleyways to make way for high-rises and modern infrastructure. The loss of these historical neighborhoods has led to the erosion of cultural heritage and the displacement of communities who had lived there for generations.
This serves as an example of how urbanization can wipe away the tangible elements of a community's history and identity, leading to an existential void among those who are pushed out or left to adapt to the unfamiliar landscape. Favela Bairro Project, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, 1994-2010 Rio's favelas, or shanty towns, have been at the center of urbanization discussions due to their stark contrast to the developed city that surrounds them. The Favela Bairro Project aimed at integrating these informal settlements into the formal city through infrastructure improvement and social services. However, this initiative led to increased property prices, thereby forcing many original inhabitants to relocate. The intended benefit of urban development turned into a bane for the founding community due to economic gentrification. Those unable to cope with the rising cost of living were further marginalized, thereby perpetuating a cycle of social and economic exclusion. This illustrates how even well-intentioned urbanization can inadvertently result in displacement and economic stress. Displacement of dreams and the people who construct those dreams creates the real human dilemma. The displacement of founding communities by urbanization is a complex issue with a number of causes. One cause is the economic pressure to develop land for more profitable uses. In many cities, the land that is home to founding communities is also the most valuable land in the city. This can lead to developers pushing out founding communities in order to build new luxury apartments, offices, and retail stores. One way to mitigate the negative effects of displacement is to ensure that founding communities have a voice in the urban planning process. This can be done by creating community boards and other mechanisms that allow residents to participate in the decision-making process. Another way to mitigate displacement is to invest in affordable housing and community development programs in founding communities. This can help to ensure that residents can stay in their homes and neighborhoods even as the city around them changes. And so, as we now take the larger but not the skyscraper view, in a world enthralled by the allure of urban progress, these historical vignettes serve as cautionary tales, revealing the underbelly of development that often goes unexamined. They unflinchingly illuminate the paradox inherent in urbanization, that the very processes designed to ameliorate the human condition can, ironically, lead to its degradation for communities in the crosshairs of change. As we continue to champion the rise of skyscrapers and the expansion of cities, it is incumbent upon us to also bear witness to the shadows these towers cast, shadows that often envelop the original communities, erasing their identities, histories, and futures. This compelling dialectic between progress and loss, between modernity and erasure, behooves us to reevaluate the ethical imperatives that ought to underpin the onward march of urbanization. I'm AI David Bowles, and on behalf of our AI research team, thanks for joining us today. Be a human meme.